Clayton Dabney believed that angels do exist. Something told me instead of looking uh, around like he might have run off since he was only three years old, something told me to turn directly back behind me and um, there was a hole in the wood and he had slipped under the dock and um, all I saw were his eyes and his little hands sticking up and so I reached down real quick and grabbed him up and pulled him out and when I asked him, you know, I said, are you okay? And, um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, what happened? He said, well, uh, I saw a yellow light and Jesus and God told me to stick my hand up so you could find me. I remember Clayton having numerous encounters with angels, as he would call them, in the hospital. He would talk about yellow lights often, right before he had to have uh, a, a procedure or when he was scared, when we would ask him if he was okay, and he would make comment, yes, you know, I see the yellow light, my angels are here. Clayton joined his angels at the age of six, the victim of acute rhabdomyosarcoma, a rare form of cancer. But for a six-year-old, he left a profound legacy, for we too believe that angels do exist, beings of light and life, who work indirectly, never in full view, always searching for ways to serve. And in our work, in the mission of the Clayton Dabney Foundation, we strive to emulate them. Clayton Dabney Foundation helps families that are financially needy, and these families were struggling long before they were ever given the news that their child has cancer. The Clayton Dabney Foundation provides support in many different ways, but the, the basic part of the whole uh, mission statement is to create this platform so that parents have the opportunity to create special memories for, their, for and with their children so that many years later after their child has passed away, it will be something they can cling to and remember, something joyful rather than all the difficulties and, and, and the terrible things they had to go through up till the end. Approximately 12 to 12 and a half thousand children have cancer or diagnosed with cancer every year. Of that number, a fair average is 35 percent of all children who suffer from cancer ultimately die of their disease. Oh, the stress of having a child die from cancer is enormous. Not only are there the emotional strains on the family, there are definitely um, financial strains on the family since they often need to miss work and um, are at the hospital so often they can't actually function in you know day-to-day -day life with, with work and family activities. And it's, it's an enormous strain on the families. When we can't cure the child, we feel totally helpless. And knowing that Clayton Dabney is there to help us support these families makes it a little easier knowing that there's another organization that cares that will watch after these families and will take care of these families like we've been doing. Families recognize that it is an organization that was started by someone who's been through what they've been through and understand their needs and their fears and their sadness. We realized how fortunate we were to be able to provide basically anything to Clayton and we could spend as much time as we needed to with Clayton, whereas most people don't have that luxury. And if we can come in and set something up for the whole family that creates a memory and it's anonymous to the child, then the child looks up to the mom and dad and says, wow, how'd you pull that off? It makes the parents the hero to the child, which actually is medicine of the heart to the parents as well as the child. And how cool is that? A unique aspect of the foundation is its flexibility in providing support that is specific to the needs of each family. One case request that I remember specifically that came from a 12-year-old boy and the Dabney Foundation arranged for this young boy and his mother to fly to Miami and see a live taping of his favorite band, which was the Cumbia Kings, on the TV show uh, Sabado Gigante. And once there, the boy was able to meet the band. He got to ride in their limo. They gave him a special uh, Cumbia Kings jacket. And when he returned home, the social worker said he 
could not stop smiling. It was the greatest moment in his life, and it's a, it's a moment that his, his mother will cherish forever. We have provided um, a chihuahua to a little boy in the hospital who was really never going to leave the hospital, but he really wanted something to care for, so we arranged to get the little puppy brought to him in the hospital, and it was just a great day to see his face when that was provided. One of the most dramatic requests that I've ever been a part of is a little girl who her only wish was to have a piano and to learn to play that piano for her family. And so Clayton Dabney purchased a piano, had it delivered to the family's home, and also um, hired a piano teacher to come in and teach her some lessons. And her mom talks still to this day about memories of the little girl sitting at the piano just playing for other family members and friends. We're not giving anything to the child. We're giving it to the parents to give to the child. That's truly unique. They're an extension of when our oncology team, by professional boundaries, has to let a family go. It's come to a point that there's nothing that we can do. Clayton Dabney treats that family. So where we left off, they take over and they keep the family together. A critical part of the Foundation's role is to help each family make everlasting memories. Our memory basket was created to help families think about what creates a memory. It's full of small things that perhaps people aren't thinking about when their child is so sick. It includes a camera. It includes a dictaphone. It includes a, a, a cast for making a handprint. It's little memories for families to hold on to when their child dies. I think it helps the parents just as much as it helps the child. More. Be, maybe even more because they hopefully feel a little bit better once the child's gone because they have that one more really great memory that they were able to do because of the Clayton Dabney Foundation. Just last year, the foundation served over 120 cases uh, throughout the country, and we are expected to process nearly 150 cases this year. The children that we serve, the families that we help, they don't have a lot of time. A case comes in, a request comes in, and we respond immediately. And we have to. It's part of what we do. It's part of what they need. To this day, I still don't understand why a child has to get cancer. I don't, I don't understand it now, I never will. But unfortunately, kids continue to get cancer, and our caseload continues to increase. And we need your support now more than ever. Being involved with Clayton Dabney Foundation, for me, is a unique opportunity to help families. Being involved with Clayton Dabney Foundation for you offers the same opportunity to help people who truly need help, who come through huge challenge, huge threat, and who now face an unimaginable loss. What I found attractive about the goals of the foundation was here was an opportunity to help some underprivileged children who are in their last stages of life when the doctors have closed the books and we can come in and perhaps provide them an everlasting memory uh, that perhaps their parents are unable to. Right now, families suddenly are facing the crisis of their lives. Families lost, alone, and grieving. Families in need of the kindness only an angel can provide. Clayton Dabney knew that angels do exist, and so do we. We know because we work with them every day, and we believe there are many more of them out there, ready to bring light into a desperate family's darkest hours. I don't think any of us had any idea that this foundation would help us with the healing process as our um, family goes through the years. Um, it helps us to keep Clayton's memory alive and it has taught our children, our remaining children, Michael, Christina and Kate, the value of giving to those less fortunate than us. And I can tell you that Clayton is looking down on all of us and is proud of what we're doing.